the words come out today because I've chosen a tongue twister book today. Tongue twisters are words that are sometimes very difficult to say. I don't know if I had enough tongue twisting coffee to get through these today, but we're going to find out. Always fun to muddle your way through a book of tongue twisters. Today's book is Oh Say Can You Say. Oh, my brothers. Oh, my sisters. These are terrible tongue twisters by Dr. Seuss. Written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss. So there's a big long paragraph that tells you about the book here. Said a book reading parrot named Huey, the words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and backflips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Do you like fish? I already screwed it up. Fresh, fresher, freshest. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at fishies. I screwed it up again. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finney's Diner. Finney also has some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is his freshest fish. And Finney says with pride, the freshest fish at Finney's is my freshest fish French fried. So don't order the fresh or the freshest fresher fish at Finney's, if you're wise, you'll say, fetch me the freshest French fried, freshest fish that Finney fries. This might be a really long book today. Din's Shin. We have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin, and the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to call in Pinner Blin, who comes in with his handy shin pin bin, and with a thin bin shin bone pin, bin pins Din's shin bones right back in. There's the shin bone pins. Bed spreader. Bread spreader. Bed spreaders spread spreads on bread. Bed spreaders spread spreads on beds. Bread spreaders spread butters on breads. And that bed spreader better watch how he's spreading, or that bread spreader's sure going to butter his bedding. That's probably why you don't eat toast in bed. Abe, that says, ate cakes, grape cakes. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said as he ate, the greener green grapes are, the keener keen apes are, to gobble green grape cakes, they're great. Are you, have, <laughs> are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in my mirror and see what I say, and then I just say what I see. Oh, that's the trick. Now let's talk about money. You should leave your grocks at home when you travel by air. If you take him along, they'll charge double the fare. And your grocks must be packed and locked up in a grocks box, which costs much, much more than a little old fox box. So it's heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your foxes than waste all that money on boxes for grocks. And what do you think costs more? A simple thimble or a single shingle? A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle would, I guess. So I think a single shingle should cost more than a simple thimble would. Eat at Skipper Zips. If you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper ships, I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at Skipper Zip's Clipper Ship Chip Chop Shop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up the next one's easy.
there are so many things that you really should know, and that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know the first names of the Fudnudler brothers who like to pile on the heads of the others. If you start at the top, whoops, wrong page. If you start at the top, there are Bipper and Bud and Skipper and Jipper and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Horace and Hendrix and Hud, and then come Din, Woody and Dinty and Dud and Fitzsimmons and Frederick and Fudd and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud and down at the bottom is poor little Lud. But if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. We have two ducks, one blue, one black. And when our blue duck goes quack quack, our black duck quickly quack quacks back. The quacks blue quacks make her quite a quacker, but black is the quicker quacker backer. And speaking of quacks reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and shacks and snacks, snacks. So, Oh, say can you say, I have cracks in my shack, I have smokes in my stack, and I think there's a snack in the sack, sack on my back. I think that's the snack in the sack on his back. I could barely say it. Can you say it? West Beast? East Beast. Upon an island hard to reach, the East Beast sits upon his beach. Upon the West Beach sits the West Beast. Each Beast Beast thinks he's the best beast. Which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that the East was best and the West was worst. Then I looked again from the West to the East, and I liked the beast on the East Beach least. Pete pats pigs. Pete Briggs pats pigs. Brig pats pink pigs. Briggs pats big pigs. Don't ask me why it doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig, big pig patter. Pete Briggs pats his big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away in his Pete Briggs pink pigs, big pigs, big pen. How many pigs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pigs, it looks like. Fritz food. Fred food. Fritz needs Fred and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz feeds Fred and Fred feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with ritzy Fred food. Fritz feeds Fred with ritzy Fritz food. And Fritz, when Fred fed, has often said, I'm a Fred fed Fritz. Fred's a Fritz fed Fred. Oh, tongue twisters. How to tell a clots from a glots. Well, the glots you will notice has lots of black spots. The clots is quite different with lots of black dots. But the big problem is that the spots on the glots are about the same size as the dots on the clots. So you first have to spot which, who the one with the dots is. Then it's easy to tell who the clots or the glots is. What would you rather be when you grow up? A cop in a cop's cap, or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's cap, or a fat flapjack flapper in a flat, fat flapjack cap. Or, if you don't like cop's caps, flapjack flappers, or cupcake cook's caps, maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes kooky captain's caps, perhaps. Oh, more about Blynn. Well, when Blynn comes home tired from his work pinning shins, the happiest hour of old Blynn's day begins. Mr. Blynn is the father of musical twins who tucking twin instruments under twin chins lull their daddy to sleep with twin Blynn violins. 
And, oh say can you say, far away in Berlin, a musical urchin named Gretchen von Schwinn has a blue-footed, true-footed, trick-fingered, slick-fingered, six-fingered, six-string, twin-chin, tin-schwinn mandolin. Nope, couldn't say that one. You guys have to try reading this book sometime. Rope soap, hoop soap. If you hope to wash soup off a rope, simply scrub it with scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. But should you wish to wash soup off a hoop, I suggest that it's best to watch, to let your whole silly souped up hoop so good. Oh my goodness. Sometimes tongue twisters on a Monday are just very difficult. But if you should wish to wash soup off a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in soapy Cooper's super soup off hoop soak suds. Oh, Dr. Seuss. Merry Christmas, Mush. One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas Mush to Munch, but I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like to Munch Mush much. That does not look like a good Christmas dinner at all. And speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim and Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, the perfect gift, Christmas gift for him is a set of Slim Jim swim fins. And if your daddy's name is Dwight, and if he likes to look at birds at night, the gift for Dwight that might be right is a bright Dwight bird flight night sight light. Do your dads like either of those? But never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus with whiskers is not a good pet, and a walrus which whispers is worse even yet. When a walrus lisps whispers through tough, rough, wet whiskers, your di poor daddy's ear will get blispers and bliskers. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh, say can you say. Oh. The storm starts. The storm starts when the drops start dropping. When the drops stop dropping, then the storm starts stopping. Ha! Ah, we did it! The end. Tongue twisters. Oh, say can you say? I could say a lot of them. I sure couldn't say all of them. Tongue twisters are super fun. It's a good way to wrap your, your, your mouth around language and learn new words, and maybe even learn new ways of putting sounds together. And maybe even um, get, get better at putting words together and, and mastering um, more speech and more languages. Not only English, but other, other languages. Uh, my son speaks another language, and he's really good at tongue twisters. He's, he's, he can say them really fast, and not only in English, but in other languages, too. Uh, but we used to have lots of fun with silly, silly tongue twisters. Who can say them the fastest, and who can make up new ones? So have fun with tongue twisters. Um, and we also find that maybe old folks grandparents maybe prefer that maybe you speak a little more slowly and a little more clearly because maybe their ears don't work quite as well as as uh, as younger folks ears do so um it's all just part of growing up having fun with language and and being able to speak super fast and being able to slow down so that it's being kind and courteous to others as well so as always Remember to lead with kindness and have fun today on this super stinking hot August already day. Um, it's my sister's birthday. So if you see my sister Kathy today, wish her a happy birthday. And um, story time every day this week, except for Wednesday. No story time Wednesday this week. Uh, and I'll see you Friday for another chapter of Winnie the Pooh, chapter four this week. And 
Mariposa story time. We, we love having you with us. As always, if you have any extra dollars, please donate them to Mariposa. We'll be happy to continue to bring you awesome children's programming. And we can't wait to be back with you live in person so we can play some more games, bring you some more live theater, uh, more live story uh, theatrical events in person, more awesome cabarets, all in the works. Please be sure to join us soon. Thanks, everybody.